Hello. Hello and welcome. It's episode 15 of uh, Arcadia. So let's unmute them and let's get going. Okay. So I believe last week we had uh, Shoshana practice her, her singing. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, and, and then some shit went down. And Shoshana murdered a bunch of people. Defended her reputation from a bunch of people, I believe she, you mean. She, uh, she, she shattered her souls as, as a revenge. I yeah, saved her, her whole slurs. party. <laughs> I like the word civilian more as the descriptor than people. They weren't Innocent, civilians. In they were insurrectionists. <laughs> who were they? Who, who were they? Ba baby made a new door for their, their church. He burned that's, the whole church oh, down, remember? Right. <laughs> well, before that then, yeah. He did it before this church went down. <laughs> so you ruined right. my dude, new door I made for them. <laughs> kind of rude, actually, you know. Technically, the whole world is now a door for them. A door into the afterlife. <laughs> oh god, it's true. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, so, okay, yeah, so... That happened. So you guys ended up. You're you're pretty sure that nobody witnessed you committing all these crimes. So you safely slunk back to your uh, your inn, and I believe that was the end of the night. Yep. Okay. So it's the next morning. Uh, I don't know what you guys want to do, but we can, if you guys have something specifically to do. Uh, when is the... Well, I okay. think we've done enough. So, there's two days until the, uh, performance. So, is there anything you guys want to do for the next, I guess, day? Two days, because 10th and 11th. I would probably spend that... Oh, no, I need to find out who the competition is. Okay. And have you registered? Yeah, I've got to register. I'll register. Okay. Well, that would probably be a good idea. I thought I got invited to it back in the other town with the with the special. You thing. certainly got told about it. The amphitheater. Oh, okay. So it's next morning, you guys meet up for, uh, uh, breakfast. Um, baby, you sit, still sitting at another table? Are you How gonna do join I whisper to you? Forward, uh, forward slash W space GM. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm not there for breakfast, though. I'll just say that. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, so you guys come down and Baby is not here to, not here for this breakfast. Um, what are the- I don't understand what his issue is. Other four of you doing? Having breakfast. What's a bit of murder between friends? <laughs> it wasn't- it wasn't really the thing. <laughs> We're creepy. Nah. Some of those other- We're gonna do what we have to do to survive, and that means, you know, Defending ourselves and our name. Alright. Not much stuff to do, I guess. So. It's amazing what you can do in, uh, when you declare it's for your name and defending yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am part of a church, you see. Okay. He, he, he just doesn't learn from the all. best. <laughs> Uh, um, okay. But I'll, I'll order some blood sausage for breakfast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you can have orc blood sausage, you can have goblin blood sausage, or you can have mystery meat blood sausage. And what's the least humanoid out of that? I mean, orc is a giant isn't, isn't, gob isn't goblin a playable race? Yeah, it is. 
Yeah. Then I'll go for Orc. I mean... So is Orc. So is Orc. No, half Orc is a playable race. <laughs> no, no so orc, is orc. Is a, orc is a playable race as well. <laughs> oh, true. Well... Wow. Well, you can have the mystery room. Well, like, as if that's going to be any better. <laughs> Is it, are other playable races often on the menu? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why am I having humanoid blood sausage? <laughs> <laughs> because you ordered something weird. Is that weird? For this I'll just place, it is on the regular menu. Okay. You get a nice. You get a nice. Uh... Let's have a look. Uh... You get a nice waffle for breakfast. Wonderful. I have a blood waffle, please. No, I'm kidding. Oh, they, 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 they tip some blood from a cow all, all no, over it. No. <laughs> yeah. Blood is your maple syrup. Oh my gosh. Nature's maple syrup. Wait. <laughs> Isn't that just maple syrup? <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's 100% Canadian maple syrup. Made out of real Canadian. Anyway, okay. So yeah, so... <laughs> are you doing anything today? Uh, I, I suppose, um... Shoshana's going to visit the, uh... The hall to... Yeah, register. go register. Okay. I mean, breakfast passes. I'm going down to register for the, uh... Festival. Does anyone like to accompany as my entourage? We keep the, the I will. City. You might need the backup. I feel like someone's out to get us. Really? I mean, I guess. Okay, so you guys, are you just gonna walk out into town? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you. I guess. Uh, Kobo would know where it is, so he would lead you there. Um, so you come across a grand amphitheater. It's, uh, it's about five stories high, looking out from the inside. Um, upon entering, you enter, like, a reception area. Um, has a nice carpet down the middle. It's made out, the entire building's made out of stone. Um, and walking up, uh, you see a half-elf behind the desk. Um, half elf gives you a quizzitive look. Good morning, madame. I am Shoshana, the nightingale. Hmm. Hello. Yes, very well. I take it you wish to register. Of course. Wouldn't be much of a festival without me performing now, would it? <laughs> yes, we can always use more talented individuals um so yeah takes a pen out and starts writing down shoshana i assume you want to be introduced as the nightingale oh yes most positively and she takes that down um and she says your pass she hands you a number and it's number 12. well thank you and um, I lean in and say, if you have any uh, um, any participants requiring any beauty services, um, I'm, I'm available. Um, Kepo, no, you're not. You're my exclusive. Oh, but are you saying that I will need all of my time just to get you ready? You can't Surely. Help the competition. As you say, um, it will, you need all your time. She likes. She she uh, laughs a little bit, and she's like. Probably will need all your time. Oh. <laughs> the spell finger's twitching. <laughs> Just um, she doesn't uh, know. <laughs> Don't shatter her now. <laughs> I mean, she, she, when, as she says that, she gives you a look, like, from your face down to your feet and back to your face. I guess someone from this boring plane would say that, wouldn't they? How boring. Can't all be of the Fey blood, my dear. And I strut off. Pretty sure she's a half elf, which means she's of the Fey blood. Elves aren't Fey. 
They do know it. They have Fey touched they ancestry. Have, yeah, they have Fey touched ancestry, so they're of the okay. Fey. But they're half breeds, so it doesn't really count. <laughs> She's not pure. They're like kids that went to Neverland, right? Oh wait, yeah, no. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh God. Like the, not okay. The kind of touch. Skipping over that. I just lean in and say, "Thank you for your help," <laughs> and I walk away. Okay. Um, she nods at you. Um, she recognizes you as a priest of Sunni, so. She's a lot more. She's a lot more like friendly with you. <laughs> okay, you guys, walk out. You have your number. You didn't get a rules explanation, but I'm sure that will be fine. <laughs> it's not one on the back of my card. It's just a number saying that you're number twelve. Oh, you didn't oh. stick around long enough to get anything. Which was silly <laughs> results. <laughs> That's the only rules, the only rules Shoshana cares about is winning and killing. Ooh, why is that on? <laughs> There's no rules in love and singing. There we go. I don't know why that was there. Find out from and she doesn't win, she just destroy the enemy. <laughs> She's... Yeah. We, to be so honest. We... You go. Oh no, this is a joke. Like, we, we have to level you up to a five so you can get fireball. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just hold her at four for a while until, she's, <laughs> until her temperament evens out. Unlimited power! <laughs> yeah, now that you've registered, what would you like to do? I'm going to try to suss out the competition that uh, might be around. Um, so, uh, looking around, and there's nobody here. Is there, is there like a green room or anything that I can? I'm just gonna like nosy my way around, not really knowing how this works. I just assume I'm a allowed free access to go suss out the performance stage. To okay, um, so starting to wander around, you come to uh, you come to a double door that's locked um, that you assume leads into the auditorium seating. Um, you could there's also like rooms on the you can continue down like both sides, right and left. Um, going down the right side, you just come across a bunch of locked, do locked doors that, like, go on for... This is quite the big building. Um, so guys, like, keep going, you like, locked door, locked door. Going back, like, you see the half-elf, um, just, like, looks at you as you walk past, and she's shaking her head, and you continue... Uh, yes? Excuse me, miss, uh, uh, how do I get in to see the performance area so I can prepare? <sighs> and she shrugs her shoulders. Uh, you will see the performance area on the day. Oh. How unprofessional. You simply expect people to just walk into a space they've never seen before and do a show. Is that part of the challenge? And she smiles and says, Almost everybody else here has had the honour of performing on the stage before. Oh. I see. Is it because I have goat legs? She shakes her Playing head. Playing the race cards. She shakes her head and says, I don't think you've been in town very long, dear. But uh, if you had, you would know that there's plenty of opportunity to apply for a show beforehand. Unfortunately, it's now locked down due to preparations for the show. Oh, the competition. How unfortunate. Well, this will make my win only that much more impressive. I'm sure it will. Uh, wh what time should I expect to arrive on the morrow? Well, it's in two days, but... Uh... On the after morrow. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's morrow. <laughs> uh, she says, I do hope you'll be here before 9.30, otherwise you'll be late. Right, I'll be here at 6 a.m. I'm sure you will be. Do you have a badge number or something? <laughs> badge number? No. Name? I have a name, but why would I give it to you? Might have been better I know your real name rather than have to refer to you as something else. <laughs> Whoa. Based on the impression you've made to everyone when I'm on the stage, <laughs> as a part of my routine. 
<laughs> My name is Gliss. Thank you, Gliss. <sighs> Just rolls off the tongue like something a snake would make. Gliss. Mm, fitting. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you. There's something else that rhymes with uh, Gliss that rolls off the tongue too. <laughs> Bye, Gliss. Uh, she she out. waits. She just waves her hand. <laughs> what a fucking bitch! <laughs> Make it friends. Uh, uh, as you as you hear, hear her walk out, she says, "You know, I heard that right." If there is ears, I'd hope so, my dear. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> as, Shoshana, as as far as you know, she's the bloody judge. No judge would be sitting there selling passes at the entrance. She's just some fucking imbecile administration clerk. It's bold of you to assume that she's not both. She would know talent. Would I know much about, much about this competition? Uh, you would know of the competition. Oh. You can probably roll, uh, roll history if you think um, you can... Did you... you... You may or may or not have gone there, so. You've seen it. You've you've seen. You've probably seen it before, but you've you've not paid much attention to the judges, so you don't re you don't recall any half elves being on the judging um, table, but you're unsure. He's like. <laughs> Or the, the show, like what's the undercover boss? It's gonna be, it's gonna be like the the, 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 the the creator of the entire event. <laughs> <clears throat> but yes, I'll um, head on back and uh, I'll head back and just maybe go practice in my room for the next two days. Okay, can you give me uh? Three performance rolls, right? and these will determine like this will determine whether you get advantage, disadvantage, or neutral. And I really get my shit rolls out of the way looking at those. <laughs> okay. Not terrible. But... Is there anything anybody else wants to do? I, might I just... sent you another message. I did. I'm just responding to it. Alright. Jax might want to just sort of like get out and um, put a body and mind to work at um, the uh, herbologist alchemist store. Um, you sure you don't want to go swim in the lake? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's not pretty bad. <laughs> we forced her to take a, a bath something at the time. He's still. <laughs> Didn't I take her to the bathhouse? I guess it was the steam baths or something, wasn't it? Yes, you went to steam baths. I mean, I've tried licking her clean a couple times. I've tried that with Bruce as well. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought that you had like a pet dog that you kept hidden at night. Wait. <laughs> I'm saying, you know. Delicious. <laughs> I guess for me, I'll probably uh, try to find that, uh, like, the cartographers in the city again, because I, they tried before I failed, I believe. Try to get, like, better better idea of where things are, without having to search for what well, I have to do anyways, my own personal stuff, but, yeah. Okay, um, when you're searching around, give me an investigation check. There are okay. So going around the city asking about, um, you get told that there are no like non. I'm not gonna say royally appointed. Um, no, like no cartographers outside. Um, outside the employee of. Um, employee. Empl yeah, outside of. 
uh, the head uh, outside of the the ruling family. So if if you're if you're a cartographer in the city, you're employed by the fa uh, by the head family. Uh, and they're generally unreachable unless you have an introduction. Okay. Now just uh, spend the time, most of the time, just like trying to explore the city myself and create what I can. Okay. Would I know um how to get an introduction? Uh, you could get one. You would know that to get one, you'd either need to know someone of high esteem, uh, or someone who knows the head of the family. So, and possibly could someone of high esteem perhaps frequent a um, classy establishment called Enchanted Evenings. Uh, give me a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, today. The <laughs> gods are unimpressed with that persuasion. Motherfuck. It might have worked. No oh, man, I tried. I tried okay. fear. Yeah, thank you. But I'll... it's okay. I think if I were to test the like. Like we we talked to a leader in this place, or one of the leaders, I think, and gave him the tea. But like, and I I got really like stuff for that, anyways. But next time we can try talking to something else, or if can, something else to them. Or if we do something really good in the city, like you know, save them for whatever. She has in this Witcher or help in some way. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Roll me a strength check, Bell. Okay. I forgot where it was. Is he trying to kill me in his sleep now? Ooh. Fuck. Uh, you're able to make what you want, but they're pretty misshapen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Not, not happy with it. I'll try the next day. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else got anything to do? I, wanna... I really feel like we should be looking into the incident more somehow. Okay, how would you like to do that? Does anyone have any ideas of what we can do? I'm not sure. Like, we tried researching more in the library, but like, we ended up hitting like a wall. And basically, I think we were told that last time that like we have to find a bigger library essentially to get more information. But yeah, I think we've got much everything we can get out of the library we're in. The parish. Not sure what else. We're gonna talk to people. Just find, you know, see if anyone yeah. knows the information. I don't know. I want to go and try and find maybe a... Hmm. I wonder what kind of uh, what about authority could we have to be able to help? Like, if we went to the police or the government, like, would they be like... They you know, don't know anything. They don't really know anything, though. That's, we already spoke to uh, Captain Moses. We spoke to them as just a band of adventurers. Something changed? We need to find a way to find What about any of your your church's religious texts? How far back do they go? Surely there's accounts of the, the town and all that. Honestly, they're probably all just about how pretty soon he is and different hair techniques and <laughs> What about the strange fiery hair techniques? I think that's a bit of a reach. <laughs> So, so like even you, like even with the limited time you've spent here, Shoshana, Suni, uh, Suni's not one for keeping accurate histories on anything apart from romance, herself, herself, <laughs> sex <laughs> techniques, and like beauty techniques. It's about it. So does this mean that uh, is, uh, uh, Suni's going to be like the uh, the goddess of like uh, or like literature? So therefore, I'm um, the baby lose a. Uh, Inspiration <laughs> music. <It> Maybe. <laughs> She's basically like um like a sorority. Pretty much. They're like they're good people and they do good things for the community, but are like 
Look how pretty I am! Okay. That's a very apt description. <laughs> I, mean, I guess we could just, I feel how many leads we can just, uh, you know, perhaps we could just, uh, like, go try to do some quests and try to get our, uh, I mean, I don't know how much quests we can really do, right? Because we have a couple days until we're in the competition, but then we really have to, or want to eventually. I'm really um, itching for, to find more information to do some things, so. Perhaps we could go to the mining town, um, and get that metal of baby loot investigated. That might give us a lead on... What happened? Yeah, but it's that's more than a couple of days away, I think, to get there and get back. So, so after, maybe after your competition? Um, yes, certainly. I've got no one to hang around here after the competition. Um, has the that. town recovered, mostly recovered? Oh, God, it's only been a week. Re recovered is a strong <laughs> word. Um, they've put up... Cleaned a up some rubble? They've put up... Yeah, well, there was no rubble. Like, it was literally a giant fireball. Like, it, it eliminated everything. So what they've done is um, they've put up tents for people staying around the area. Um, there's no bodies, which is good because they don't have to bury um, a lot of people. Um, and they've put up a wooden, a ramshackled wooden wall. And then there are now there are people going around. Um, if you pay attention, drawing up plans for a new, basically a new district. Well, in the absence of having anything else to do, I'll, I'll try and go lend my hand to okay. uh, to any kind of anything I can do as a, as a healer or a cleric. Okay. Um, you you'd be you'd be definitely able to listen to people's troubles. Um, that is the main thing that's that people um, are happening here. Um, but most of them are the usual um, the yeah. usual daily troubles. No, yeah, well, I'm okay with that. I'm in the absence of having anything I can do. I still want to help in some way. Okay. Um, did, did, we, did we talk to Moses? Did we talk to him? Did we, did we, did we ask him if we could do anything to help the city, to help deal with the situation? Or I can't remember if we did that or not. I mean, there was nothing specifically that he had. You never went to. Uh, so there is like a, a a place where you can get missions or like see if if there is anything available. Um, there's also the guardhouse, which you could check to see if they have any pressing situations they could get you to look into. So you never checked there. Moses didn't have any specifically anything specific that he had to, you guys to do. Um, but that was because he, at the time, was busy with investigating a giant hole in the ground that had just suddenly appeared. Okay, okay. So then, uh... Okay. So what was the place then that we would go to to... Basically, it would be like a equivalent of like a. This is equivalent. It's equivalent to adventurer's guild. Yeah. So, okay. you could you could go there and have a look. Um, so if you want to go there, you can. Um, maybe I can go and do that instead. Yeah, I mean, you can go with or... them and see what's available, and then if there's nothing yeah. available, you can go yeah. help out. Okay, so so you guys head off to uh, this this adventurer's guild that we'll call it for now. Uh, until I can't look a better name for it. Um, so heading in, you see a bunch of rowdy morons. Half of them that bald, some of them with large scars on them. Most of them not wearing armor. Um, there is a wall on the back. It contains a lot of uh, pieces of paper. Most of them with writing on them. Would you like to go investigate them? Yep. Um, sure. Okay. Someone give me an investigation check. I will. I'm a dumbass, but I'll do it. Okay. Uh, just one check? I mean, you can check as well. You might find something different. <laughs> Probably won't be Clara. Well, it's yeah, not about team. beating. It's about it's about what you find as a mission. Yeah, true. Okay, one sec. Uh, Quirin! Oh, no, intimidation. <laughs> Quirin, looking around, you see... A mission to go kill a wyvern uh, near the city of Retrobamba. Well, man, you gotta smell that one. I wanna see that. Retrobamba? Retrobamba? W. Y. Wyvern.
Brett. Tro. B A M B A. Um, the quest specifically states that it is um, 50 gold uh, per head in the party who undertakes the mission. Um, and that they say that there is a large wyvern flying about from the nearby mountains or the nearby hills that is currently killing livestock and has done some damage to nearby farms. Fuck that wyvern up. Okay, yeah, sounds good. I mean, the are fairly decently tough, so it might be too hard that's something that's a possibility still Kobo you have a mission mm. it was posted by the uh, merchant skill just very recently on the south side of the uh, lake that uh, Parche is currently on uh, there is a small goblin city uh, roughly about here um, and that they have been attacking the trade road between Parsh and Horn uh, and they would oh. like someone, so, uh, a, a group of adventurers, to go out and take 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 the uh, small city out. Um, um, there is a five. Would it gold be related ahead. to the? Was, wasn't it goblins before that were working for the? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They were summoned to this world apparently, or something. Like, apparently, because they had that little belt. I think that could like, be a lead. Maybe. What was, what was the one that you found? <laughs> Uh, the, the, one I had, the ones I had were the, the ones I had. The wyvern? Were, oh, the wyvern, yeah. The one that was, was wyvern, yeah. No. Mm. Sorry, Chang, what was the rest of that? There was a fireball? No, no, no. What did you say? The, the, all you have to do is go to. The, basically, the Commerce Guild wants a group of adventurers to go out and, like, put a stop to the attacks, and that it was worth five gold a head for each person who went in. I know it's not worth much gold, but I just... Do you think it could be a lead? Perhaps. <coughs> um, I'm not sure. I mean, it's close by, so that's a huge advantage. Uh, how far was Richard Bomber? Uh, probably about three or four days. Okay, so... Maybe this is probably another one's probably better for us to do if we can do something. One, um, two, three. Cause, yeah, we'll have a couple of days until the competition. I mean, moving at a fast pace, it would take you exactly two days. So if you left, yeah. if you left now, mm. you could get back night time tomorrow. It's up to you guys. Uh, either one's good. I'm not in a rush for you to. Well, you also got to remember, I'm at May. I... You don't know oh, where you are. Oh, you're, yeah. you're doing your. Yeah, oh, he, sorry, he's he's that. doing his stuff. He's <sighs> he's away. He's probably doing his blacksmithing or something, I guess. Um, I, oh, should we be looking for him? Maybe we will find him. I don't, I don't know what he's up to. I mean, I assume he's blacksmithing. Oh, okay. But maybe, we should, maybe we should consult him before we just make a decision without... Without the video. I should actually... You know what I should do? I should make a note of, like, the two quests I offered. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, would you guys like to try and find Baby? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, where are you gonna search? Local blacksmith. Yeah. Where would I? Where, where are places that I would know? Yeah, there's the blacksmith, I guess. The blacksmith and the red light district. The only two places you know. He absolutely. Oh, and his former apartment that you or his former place of rent that uh, are the only places you would know where he would hang out. So, going to the blacksmith, you find nothing. Hmm. Can we ask the blacksmith? Yeah, sure. Ah, I haven't seen him today! Do you keep an eye out? He's, um... I haven't seen him all day. It's not like him to disappear. Ah, well. He seemed to have something on his mind. He'll be fine. Just, you know. Right. So you have seen him then? I didn't say I hadn't seen him. I said he's not here. W where have you seen him? 
He stopped by to make something. He didn't seem very happy. He was a bit distracted. He left afterwards. Maybe we can go to his apartment? I mean, you know that he the um he, he doesn't have it anymore. Like he when he started adventuring, he stopped he stopped paying for it. So that's like you know he was there, but that's it. So I mean, what do you think, Gobo? I mean, you know that really on do you know where he might be? I thought I did. Uh okay, there we go. I think maybe we should check the hmm, I don't know where to look. I mean if nothing else, we'll probably see him back at the end, right? We still have we don't, much, actually, we, don't, we, don't have, we don't have any more time, right? We don't have any, we don't, we don't have any free uh, in stays, right? Was, is, is the free thing was for a week, right? Was no, it's for two weeks. So it will be just after... So it's about the 13th or 14th of Altarac that you'll you'll have to either start paying or get, or get a different in. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously there's a lot of things to do. Um, I don't know... I mean, I don't think... Even though... There are many things we want to do. I don't think there's that much rush. We could perhaps just see him back at, at our place if we don't know where he is. Otherwise, we could just, I don't know, wander around the city looking for a bugbear. Bug They're pretty uncommon, I assume. We'll find perhaps a blacksmith. Did you see what he made? It might give us a clue as to what he was doing, where he had been off to. You know, to be honest, I had a look. It's worst work yet. I don't know what the fuck he was making. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Is it really that bad? Well, one well, looked like a whopped tea. Um, and I have no clue what the other one was. Whopped uh. tea. Whopped like, tea. Like, like the letter tea. As, as like the letter T. Oh, okay. Okay. Like cross, I guess. So. He's been practicing so much, I find it hard to believe he did so poorly. Well, you know, occasionally even the best of us make mistakes. Right. Um, I guess we could continue searching for more information about the Burning Man. I, I guess I mean, we we know the library is not useful anymore for us. So we need to search is probably not useful. We could try to talk to more of the, the guards or whatever and see if they have a lead. Because Moses probably trusts us a bit, I guess. Maybe we can get more out of him to see if we can help. help. Is my new armor ready to pick up? Yes, it is. And so is your... Coat? Is it a coat? I believe you were dying the coat. Oh yeah, in yeah, my coat as well. Change pink coat to black jacket. Yep. And you got I'll your go studded leather yeah. armor as well. Yep. Okay, so you got you go do that. You spend an hour doing that. You guys follow you guys follow Soshana around thinking that she's going to visit Captain Moses because she didn't say otherwise. But instead she picks up <laughs> Instead, she picks up armor and a coat. Susanna, what are you doing? We're on a quest here. I thought we could pick these up on the way to see Captain Moses. Okay, but why do we need to come along? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just I got distracted. I was really excited. Does it look good in black? I show up my new coat. It looks better, doesn't it? It looks awesome. <laughs> see, black's a new pink, I tell you. I, I, I roll insight on Quirin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And studded leather. I, I can compendium that. browser that, can't I? Yeah. Well, we don't have compendium browser, apparently. You mm, don't? Where'd it go? No, well, you, used, you used to have it. It is there. Maybe it's just not a accident. What? I mean, it's, oh. in, it's in normal items. So if you just go into items yeah. and up the top, you should have a search. I don't know why it's not down there. I'll have to have a look. Class? Oh. No, just it's under items SRD. Oh, yep. Uh, 
And yeah, they've just got stud leather armor. Plus three. Oh, no. I'm <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so yeah. So. <laughs> I, I, like Shoshana picks up her armor and then uh, she, she's like, uh, she gives you the excuse and then she goes back in behind to get changed into it and you spend another 10 minutes waiting for her. So I play with my cards in the meantime. <laughs> Shoshana yeah. comes out look at, uh, looking at. AC increase. It doesn't. You have word. to do. You have to add the plus two by itself. It's just twelve plus dex, isn't it? Mhm. Mm so it should take it to fifteen. Fifteen. So yeah. So now that you've done that, uh, where would you like to go? Did we want to go see Captain Moses? Yes, that's what I think was the idea. I mean, I do think picking these up was a good idea. I look so much more official as an investigator now. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you guys head over. Where are you guys actually heading? Should we head to the barracks, or should we see if he's at that camp at the destruction site? He's probably not there anymore, actually, is he? I guess we can go to the barracks. If any of he's not there, they might fish it where he is. Right? Probably. True. To the barracks! Okay. You, you walk over to the barracks. Um, a guard at the front looks at you. Yes. Hi, Aaron. Are you looking for the Captain Moses? We uh, talked to you yesterday about, or yesterday? recently about, <laughs> or recently, recently about the the various things happening in the city, like that uh, crazy creature that flew from the sky and burned down. Part of the city. We, Moses uh, is seeing operations on the walls. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, can you point us with which direction of those walls? Which walls? Like, uh, he points you to the. He tells you that um, if you go look over edge of the burnt area, there should be a watchtower. Um, he is currently overseeing operations down there. Thank you very much. Let's go. That one did so I know you guys leave. Okay, so you guys are heading over there now? Yeah. Okay, you guys spend some time walking over there. Um you see a you see a pair of familiar guards. Um, you spoke to them. You have spoken them to before. They're the ones who, who originally um, got Captain Moses for you. Hello, hey there. Uh, so, do you remember us? We were the we were the adventurers that came to the city to talk to Moses. Hard to forget. Although you seem to be missing someone. Anyway, I assume you want to talk to Captain. Yes, please. Let me just check to see if he's not doing anything important. Um, and he walks inside. Um, a few minutes later, he comes out. All right, Captain said he'll see you. Come on. Thank you. He takes you up a flight of stairs into a, a small wooden office. Um, it's very hastily built. Uh, there is... A partial map of the city on the table. Captain Moses looks at you and he says, Ah, you guys again? How can I help you? He looks tired. Yeah. Well, we, we know that you're very busy and that uh, the city is under a lot of, you know, stress right now. So we, we thought we might uh, offer a service to help 
and uh, find out more information about this creature that's damaged your fair city. Hmm. I says, to be honest, we haven't found anything. So unless you have information, we do actually. Okay. The witches of um, what the fuck were they called? The Witch of Resplendent, Resplendent Flames is the prime suspect right now. Um, I know it sounds crazy. He, he, but, uh... he, he hears that and he scratches his, uh, he scratches his uh, cheek and like... Fairy tales. Okay. Continue. Well, you see, um... We found these old, yes, fairy tales, but they're backing up a lot of what we've seen. These weird coven of elemental witches seem to strike during times of difficulty and challenge, and, well, quite frankly, the things we experienced on the way here speak of a land in great strife. It would make sense when they've appeared before, but... They're tied to the Grand Chaos Empire in some way, allegedly, and, well, um, yes, they, they have elemental hair. Yes, but you can dye your hair as well. I, I guess you can, but... In fact, I think... I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that uh, any wizard worth his salt would be able to disguise themselves as well. They certainly would, but then why pick this particular fairy tale as the symbology? There's motive there, if it's not the truth. To, 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 to put blame on the Grand Chaos Empire? But, I mean, perhaps, but why would they... I mean, it's either way, even if it's not the actual Witcher, you know, which I don't know, you know, I don't know enough to say, but... It still would give us a lead, would it not? Like, because if this person is a wizard, could be uh, mimicking his Witcher. You know, knowing about the history of the Witcher would uh, might give us an idea on their motive or or a, an idea of what what other actors they might take that are similar to uh, these witches. He 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 just like shrugs his shoulders. I mean, it's as good a theory as we've got, but well, we tend to think it was more likely a powerful wizard. How many powerful wizards can blow a hole through a city like this? He looks down at his hand. Looks down at his other hand. I know of 20. Okay. <laughs> you know a lot of people, apparently. I said I know of 20. I don't know them personally. In fact, I would never want to meet these people. But then you are very well informed in general to know of such people. Unfortunately, I have to be informed of this shit. He, he, <laughs> like, you, you can tell that, like, at this point, he's probably spent a bunch of time looking into these people and where they were to make sure they weren't the ones doing this. <laughs> well, Just knowing that, have you been able to link any of those people you know that are capable of doing this? He shakes his head. Have you been able to rule them out? He shakes his head. As I said, I think this uh, resplendent flame story is worth following up on, good sir. It may not be the actual truth, but it's a breadcrumb. A trail of crumbs. We're going to follow them all the way, like a good story. And besides, fairy tales, there's always truth into them. Every tale is rooted in truth at some point. I might say also that uh, despite the fantastic nature of this uh, line of questioning, I mean, I have to say, uh, I would, if that were you, I wouldn't believe in it as well, but like, just remember, we have this, I point to, I find, like, this, this creature here who came from the Feywild itself, just recently, or just somewhere recently, 
and uh, that's not supposed to happen either. <laughs> so, who knows? You know. Yes, you're talking to a happen. fucking satyr. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, and he looks at you, looks down at your legs. Still not the weirdest thing I've talked to in my line of work. I guess we don't and then, and then he, And then he goes, you know, once I had to talk to a party of minotaurs. All of them were fucking meatheads. Couldn't put two fucking words together between them. Ah, anyway, thank you for your input. We will certainly keep it under advisement, and if you guys find anything, please come and tell us. Like I said, we have had zero luck trying to identify who did this. That's understandable. I mean, it's new, and obviously, we're trying to do what we can. So, yeah, if we if you need help, if you need, if you find use for our services, we should be in this in the area for several days I will, or sometime there's a competition yeah, ah yes I heard that was still going on yeah and I heard they replaced here. one of the judges this year the old elf <laughs> died <laughs> I actually speaking of this I met this horrible woman at the show Gliss Are you, ah, familiar you with must her? mean the silver muse yes I heard she was in town silver the muse. silver muse Yes, she's ex she has an exceptional set of fingers. Very good at her viol playing. Oh, she's competition, is she? I doubt it. She'd probably win hands down. I doubt it. I heard her voice. <laughs> <laughs> Those stubby little fingers. She could barely pick <laughs> this, this, the card up. <sighs> I mean, once you've heard it, uh, like, I've heard her before. She's very good. I mean, she has been playing for a hundred years, so... Are we talking about the same woman? I would assume so. I only know of one Gliss who's currently in the city and would have anything to do with this competition. Uh, I thought she was a half-elf. <laughs> yes. That's her. They live that long? Yes. Half-elves can live up to 200. Oh. My mistake. <laughs> Forget these, uh, you know, the, the less the fae touched, as they call them, you know? They're not like real fae. <laughs> oh, my God. Clinging to ancestry, claiming to be more than they are, looking down on the humans and that like they're greater. We're all just beings in the world at the end of the day, you know? The <laughs> hatred continues on in our campaign. <laughs> <laughs> this is just... So, I assume we're going to be hating all Harveys? I got no. Just the rude ones. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, she's just, this is that's the information you get from him. Is there anything else I can do for you before do the competition? Because I assume you have to go practice. Unless you want to go and arrest my competition for me. <laughs> I don't even know who the for competition is. Us. I don't know who the competition is. After all, they keep all the details exceptionally secret until the day. Yes, I've noticed that. In fact, I heard that they were changing the layout. Oh, really? Hmm. Do tell. I don't know. I just know that there were builders going in and out. Ah. Interesting. Probably re reinforcing the stage once they knew Shoshana was coming. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's a <little> mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smaller than you, you oaf. Just teasing, baby. <laughs> well, good go luck. My practicing. Good luck. Thank, thank you, good sir. I hope to see you there and count on your vote. I will definitely be there, but you should know that the audience by itself only holds one vote. Oh, it's one of those, is it a who you know, not actually what you do thing? He shakes his head. No, there are also four impartial judges. Bet there are. All right, good to know. Thank you for the information, good sir. How does this whole thing normally go down? Actually, I'm, I'm curious. 
didn't really think to uh, just go on, perform, win a trophy. Uh, usually you play a song. Yes. Um, and then all 12 will play a song, and then the six with the lowest, which will, uh, lowest points total, get uh, removed from the competition. And then the six remaining play another song, and then they halve it again. And then there is final round is the last three, and each of you play a third time, and the person with the highest points ends up winning. Very simple, oh. if you ask me. Yeah, sounds it. Like, we're just, like, talking to him about this. Is, like, poor guy's just like, I just let me fully in my work or sleep. <laughs> 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 so, let's, let's talk about this competition more. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Kind sir. I bid you adieu, and I disappear. And he <laughs> smiles and he watches you go out. I'm on my way back to the inn, I want to pull aside Shax. Okay. Shax, my dear. Uh, yes, Shoshana, Necro Gale. Uh, Night in Gale. Necro Gale! <laughs> oh, wow. uh... Uh, I've forgotten everything about what happened last night. Don't worry about it. You'll be next. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Necro Gale! Oh, I want to talk to you about it. I want to... I, I, I guess thank you for trying to organize the concert. I... It gesture meant a lot, but... I, I didn't know that such... Such a thing could happen, though. As who would have thought? I mean, they seemed all right. They were so happy to have us on. Though. Then they raised those horrible zombies to kill us mid-performance. The nerve! Ah, uh, yes, they did, of course. It was a weird temple anyway. <laughs> what's her name? What's her name? Uh... They were so creepy. They like. Oh, yes, come in and no, oh, he was merciful. And there's all these like entrails on the floor. And they all came in wearing these horrible hoods and it wasn't, it was very odd. The whole thing. They seemed all right to me. Aside from the skeletons in the ground. Uh... I hope they were evil necromancers. Uh, I hope I wasn't wrong in my judgment, Shax. Maybe one of them was. <laughs> I mean... I just... I think I saw one of them with a walking stick. Uh, might have been a necromancy staff or something. <laughs> Probably was. I just, Did you uh, see one with a walking stick? <laughs> <laughs> they were... Dickhead. They just... Why would they do that to us? Lure us in and then... Blame us for raising undead that we tried to defend them against. I don't know what kind of motivation they might have had for that. Maybe, uh, maybe they'd just been sleeping for a while and they were woken up. By a necromancer, not by you. But then when I tried to help them and kill the undead, they kept calling me a necromancer and saying that I was trying to kill them with undead zombies. I mean, you know, fear does that to people. They were certainly running away screaming many things. That was just one. <laughs> uh, don't, don't beat yourself up about it. Uh, whatever happened, happened, right? I don't really want to think about it. Uh, neither do I, Shaq, so... I don't think I could bear it if they truly were innocent. Shash just smiles absolutely uncertainly. Why are you smiling at that? Look, <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm I'm not going to judge you for what you did, Shoshana, that's all. I just... I can't, I can't afford to be... 
known as that. I, my reputation is everything. I can't do my work. I can't be a bard. I can't do my job, if you know what I mean. And, uh, yeah. You could just ask them nicely to, uh, don't spread rumors. Yes, yes. Beauty of hindsight, hey? 2020 vision. As they say. I don't think Santa anyone says that anymore. But, uh, no. Uh, it's still the tracks. Thank you. It was a lovely gesture. I may not have ended so well. Next time I might involve Kobo if we choose another temple. That might be for the best. Okay, so... Okay, so you guys head back to the inner ice room while you're doing this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, upon going back to the inn, you actually find that, um, Baby is sitting down and eating. Baby, you're back! Yeah. Are you, Are you okay? okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I just had some errands to do today. Okay. Fair enough. Well, baby, uh, we certainly did miss you today. Is it lunch or dinner? It's lunch. Oh, yeah. Alright. How many people are around? Uh, it's... Uh, it's uh, it's actually a little after lunchtime. It's more it's more probably about two. Um, so the lunch rush is over. There's probably maybe five or six people in the tavern. I mean, including right. yourselves. Uh, excluding yourselves. Whoever's sitting near me, I'll tell them that like, I found out that nobody's really cares about the church burning down, and nobody seems to be worried or know who the people were. Oh, you were looking into that. Yes. And I also found a quest at the Adventures Guild. You too. We oh. were there for a bit too. We found a couple quests that could be useful to us. So what, what is your quest? Oh, we must have missed each other. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, we went there early, I think, and then we dealt with other stuff. Like looking for Moses, talk to him. See if we had more information. Unfortunately, it came up short, so we didn't get much done in that regard. Did, baby, in your investigation, did you uncover the truth of their necromantic ways? <laughs> no, I didn't try to investigate in any of that. Just wanted to see if anybody was talking about it or investigating it. I mean, you could always look into their necromantic ways. Could be more of them out there. The last thing I think Shoshana needs to do is look into necromancy. <laughs> <laughs> and there could be a whole thing. It'll be a quest line. It could be a chain. I mean, she's already started dabbling it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the whole, I think the whole camp is going to be like us making up things about Shoshana, drinking. <laughs> Necromancy, everything, just totally make it everything worse. Burning man. <laughs> so, baby tells you about the, tells you about the fact that like, as far as he, as far as he could hear, nobody actually cared about the church burning down. Um, be a good thing. Um, I think it was a. Uh... 
I didn't think they were quite legal, to be honest. It's really a public service, if you think about it. <laughs> Let's not go that far. If that's how you have to justify yourself, well, whatever. Um, <laughs> you also, you, and Baby tells you about the uh, quest to slay some bears in the woods just south of the city. Yes. I mean, it's not worth much, right? The same as we have our quest, it's also not worth much, but it's, it takes more time. I don't know. Like, except like we have a competition to worry about in a couple of days, so I don't know how much. I mean, so out. this one, this one south of the city is like it's half a, not even half a day outside the city. It literally, literally, you'd probably be there and back. Actually, you probably wouldn't want to do it today, or maybe, but you could probably be, if you did it today, you could probably be back by like midnight. Yeah, well, I mean, the, I so think Shoshana needs a rest. Oof. You definitely don't want Shoshana Grouchy going up on stage. No, no, I, I don't think that's right. Perhaps Who knows what might conjure up then? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, dude. like so. We don't. We probably don't. We don't have time for the wyvern. It's too far away, and we don't have probably don't have time for the goblin. The goblin. The wyvern that's... sounds like a good idea. Well, yeah, not right it... now. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's it's, it's probably difficult. We might, I, I, before we go, I, maybe I can spend some time researching Wyverns and their weaknesses and stuff like that. I don't know about them. Like a, we have a library thing, some library thing. Sure, actually, there's no library anymore, do we? We don't have library access. You do. Uh, you, we got free life access for life. I think. No, we'll for listen, exactly we'll one year. Wyvern and we'll have some snacks mm, if you want. Yeah, we have some women burgers. <laughs> exactly. Did I put in the canvas uh, builder? Try Wyvern. I, I guess. Well, I is. just wonder if maybe the information. I, I guess we can do both, right? Let's go kill Wyvern. Well, we, we want to, but it is it is kind of far out. We won't have time right now. But what, what about the goblins? After the competition, we can't. The goblins. I think it might take too much time because we have to go a little bit to find. A bunch they of them could probably be the CR6. And, uh, and it's, I don't know, it's, it's a little risky because we might not have time to get there and back, assuming if, if things, everything goes well, then we will be fine. But if not, we might be late. So that's my only concern. What if tomorrow we spend the day researching these weapons in the library, um, seeing what weapons and what other tools perhaps we might need to take with us and then procuring those items. Then the day after, you can all come to see the fabulous performing arts festival that I'm going to win. And then we can go on our merry way to sail with it. Sure, that sounds good. We could probably uh, fit in the bears tomorrow too. We could. Yeah, bears, easy. And earn some gold for the- That's deadly. Um, we have a good decent amount of gold now. I might actually end up looking for like a stronger bow because I have a short bow right now and it's uh, not the strongest. It's, it's decent, but I think I can I, I can get a bow like yours. Like was it had a bow? Baby Lou had a yeah. better bow. Yeah. So I, I might go for a bow like like Baby Lou's. I might. I don't think you can wield. I don't think you can. You're not. You're not currently able to use anything. You can use simple weapons. That short bow, crossbows, hand. Crossbows, no. long swords, rapiers, and short swords. I don't think okay. you can actually use. Um... So you do your ranger dip. Yeah. Okay, so so I have to get a feet, I assume, right, to get that. No, or no. When, when you dip ranger? into ranger, you automatically okay. get longbows as far as more. Yeah, martial okay. weapons then. Yeah. Right, cool. Then we're fine. I want to then. Okay. Cool. I mean, you can get it for when you need it. It's true. You could go buy one now. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, this is a big city. There are not, 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 not many cities like this in the, that are nearby. So it might be prudent to uh, get one now and then use it once I okay. transform <laughs> my evolve into my next form. I could get one to start practicing, perhaps. Sure. Perhaps. Okay. I will go to the. I guess I guess I'll just spend my time, a little time blacksmith and blacksmith or whatever. I'll be back. Okay. Do you go blacksmith for that, or do you go to someone else sell black, uh, blacksmith? No, you can go to a blacksmith for him. Okay, good. Um, crossbow. So, sorry, crossbow. Um, a longbow will cost you a good uh, 50 gold pieces. It's composite, right? 
Yeah, come on, so long bow. Alright, I was so, about 30 gold out of the, the about 40 gold out of the okay. thing, and it gives up 10 of my own gold for now, and I'll mark it. Okay. I was getting Okay, so you bought okay. Um anything else anybody else wants to do? I mean if you guys have anything you want to buy and this might be a good opportunity. So as I said there's a bunch of good stuff in the city, so if you want to use the money we have around four hundred and sixty seven gold and uh you know, this is the time I think. I noticed that they've not looked for a magic shop yet. And they've not tried to buy potions yet. Sounds sounds like nobody wants to do anything, okay. What kind of gear can I get? Portable hot dog roaster. Uh, Bruce, you are my portable hot dog roaster. Alright, he just sticks his hot dog in you and warms up. Exactly. <laughs> A portable hot dog roaster you find will cost you 500 gold uh, and requires a re uh, requires a 100 gold replenishable, replenishable resource. Is there any um, better weapons I can get? Uh, You've actually got one of the best weapons out of all of us. Yeah, you got the best weapon. <laughs> you got the only magical one. Yeah. I mean, there are there is one magic shop in the city that you could probably go to. I you could have a look, go. but you you don't know if they'd have anything better for you. Oh, you know, that might be a good idea. What about armor? Uh, shield? You could certainly... Yeah. Uh, I believe you have a shield. You have a shield currently um, equipped, uh, emblazoned with the symbol of uh, Sunni. Yes, but could it be improved? Probably. Probably not within our price range at the moment. Right. Didn't we have somebody go try to get magic yeah. done? I got the quotes when I got my leather armor crafted for the magic. Was well, then it's fine. I range. guess I can't. Uh, what armor are you wearing? Um, you're wearing chainmail. Uh, chainmail is 16. I mean, you could get half plate. Uh, sorry. You get there is an upgrade. Um, there's an upgrade, but it would cost you four hundred and fifty gold for the next level of armor. Well, I'm not the accountant. Yeah, I'll leave it up to the party whether for when my armor requires an update. Until then, uh, I can wait. Yeah, we might want to wait, and that would take a bunch of armor gold. So it's fine. Enough. Uh, they're anything cheaper though. I mean, it's making a, I don't know what. So. Better on. I don't know. Up here back again. You could get things like climbing harnesses, quick release cra uh, clasps. You could reinforce some heavy armor. I mean, all this costs it, gold. In fact, it, eh. I mean, if people want to, maybe we could even look for like uh, yeah, healing potions, like stronger ones. Well, somebody, somebody is currently working somewhere you could get healing potions, maybe. I was actually thinking of buying some empty vials from there, too. Okay. Em I empty vials. I'm failing to realize how much money we need for that kind of thing. Is that expensive? I can't remember how much it would cost for so even cheap healing potions. I can't remember how much it was. I think they're not going to be cheap, but we could probably afford to get a couple if that's where we want to put our money, right? I mean, we have a few now. They're just weak ones, which is fine. It's it's enough to get us up, which is, I guess, all we need for the most part. To, uh, but I don't know. it's up to you guys. Better just not rely 100% on Pebo. I think we, we should at least have some up our sleeve. I think it's I have three potions on me. I don't know how many potions you have on you for the lesser ones. Shaq's had the rest. In. I had one, but it's been used. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, well, I'll give you one for mine, and I have three, so... Oh, is this... oh I've got one. Okay. But yeah, I'll give you one, Shax, and you can, uh... uh so what one is that? It's... Potion Lesser Human. Okay. The one that Jane made for this. 
Ah, uh, so you guys know that the average price is 20 gold for the potions of lesser healing? What about for a regular potion of healing? Uh, Shax has been working at an alchemist, so he says that um, they cost roughly probably about 50 gold each. Maybe we should buy a couple of those more potent ones. If they have it, I mean, that might be worth it. Okay, I'm cool. back. I, I moved yep. offline. Shax, you could get us a discount for the work you've been doing there. I could try. Or perhaps you could let me try and leverage your relationship with this person. <laughs> it's worth a try, but please don't take it too far. Also, I don't know if they but where is my... I can't find them. I can never find my uh, alchemist tools. I don't even know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. bought them with me, but I don't see them everywhere. Well, maybe a thief stole them. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, for an, um, remember you let me borrow them uh, a few weeks ago. <laughs> I've just oh. got it right here, and I pull it out. Oh, that's what it was. I, did I? I don't speak calm, but... Uh... <laughs> I made a promise to myself that I'd give it back uh, as soon as I could afford my own, but... Uh... I guess it's fine. You are. I mean, if you're making stuff with the team, like this, I'm um, fine. I'm not using it right now, so I'm not. So whatever. But... Um, having worked at the uh, uh, alchemy place, you know that you could probably buy one for the low, low cost of fifty gold. Nice. <laughs> I relay that to Shoshana. <laughs> we'll see. I'll swing us a deal. Lead the way, Shax. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. So you're going to visit the old woman uh, at the uh, alchemist shop? Yeah, I'm worried about how brittle her skull is and how hard Kobo's uh, mace is, but uh, I got you inside. <laughs> so, walking in, um, you see the uh, young apprentice again, uh, hot in negotiations with uh, a pair of rich look, a, a pair of rich looking people. Are you going to wait for the uh, apprentice, or are you going to go speak to the old lady? Go straight for the old lady, Shoshana. Straight for the throat, as it were. Of the store. Oh, uh, don't get the crossbow, got it. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. Yes! She looks I'll up at you. It. Say you are the owner of this fine establishment. <clears throat> owner! Worker! Spent way too long here. Anyway, what do you want? And she, like, she's, like, looking at you. Like, and she moves her, her nose, her long nose, like, gets, like, within an inch of your face. Oh, well, I was just here because I'd heard you make the best potions in all of Parche, and, well, quite simply, we're uh, in need of a few ourselves. Right. Price inquiries over there. Over where? Apprentice. She deals with them. I make oh, things. Oh, I can't just make a deal with yourself right now? A deal. A deal. And what's in it for me? Oh, uh, yeah. you may not be familiar with me, but I'm Shoshana Nightingale. The Nightingale. You look like a satyr to me, not a Nightingale. <laughs> it's a name because my voice is so, uh... <laughs> Raspy? I... No, I have the voice of a Nightingale. I'm a, I'm a performer. I'm going to win really? the, uh... You could have oh, fooled yeah. me, especially with that crossbow on your back. Oh, that's just for self-defense, my dear. One can never be too safe when you're on the road, if you know what I mean. I wouldn't anyway. know. I've never left this. I've never left this city. No need to. Oh. Quite lucky in a lot of ways, really. It's a hard life out there. But um, no, I'll be performing in the performing arts show, and perhaps you could be my sponsor. You know, <laughs> like I <can> mention that. <laughs> no. 
If you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Well, I mean... So she, she, so she turns around, she lifts up her shirt. Wanna scratch this? And, like, the flab in her skin is coming down. She has, like, pustules and all sorts of disgusting things on her back. I just start, like, throwing up a little bit in my mouth. I didn't think so. So, what do you want? So I interject. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know if this person, we don't know if uh, our friend here can win in the contest or not, but if she wins, that could be a great boon to your business. Perhaps you can give, she can give I am only out. one of two alchemists in the city. <clears throat> don't care about more business. In fact, I'm swamped as it is. Fucking guards just came in and put another large order in. Something... Sounds like you need to put Shex to work. <laughs> if he ever showed up, I would! <laughs> Isn't she with us? Well, this guy, the lady's blind. Oh. <laughs> Your Shex is right here. You get to work! <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> so now Shex is going to spend the next half a day making potions. Can you make me a kept potion kit roll? All right, I got Alchemist Jack. Let's grab a few potions while she's not looking. She's clearly very blind. Uh, I don't think she's a deaf, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, you'll be paid one gold, five silver for your half a day's work. Yes! <laughs> Plus a 50% discount on the potions? No. <laughs> He came to me wanting to work. At work I will very happily, ma'am. Good. Uh, respect the hard negotiator. I'll just go talk to your apprentice now then, thank you. <laughs> so, by now, the, 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 the rich couple has left. It's lovely talking with you. Yes! I don't know if I can say the same to you. Everybody in this town is so rude, I was not a good person. Uh. <laughs> um, and, uh, you're greeted by the uh, apprentice. Ah, uh, I see you went to speak to the owner. I'm sorry about her, she's just a bit, uh, crotchety of late. <laughs> ah. <laughs> The, uh, the guards Working put in the, the guards put in an order for a hundred potions, and uh, she's been working overtime. Probably because Shaq's nuts where isn't working like he, she should be. <laughs> anyway, it's, anyway. So how can like I help mentor you? like student? Oh my god! Which one? Oh my god. Oh, we were just in the market for a couple of uh, few potions ourselves. Mm. Currently... Would I be able to go and work with Shex? Probably, if you wanted to. <laughs> sure. She probably doesn't even know you're there. Magic spit <laughs> potions. Yeah, you can, you can go. You can go <laughs> help him if you want. The bugbear saliva decoction. <laughs> a mysterious case of AIDS has sprung up in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Hey, if you want to help Shaxx out, you can roll an alchemist kit. Uh, I don't have an alchemist kit. Just roll Shaxx's. That th he's borrowing from Quirin! <laughs> you can borrow this from me! <laughs> well, he borrowed a borrow. He's pretty chilly forever. <laughs> when Quirin wants it back, he has just like follow this like huge daisy chain and put like someone who just like... I'll just roll a wisdom throw, I guess. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Because I don't have proficiency. Yeah, so. okay. As good okay. as me. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, she doesn't actually know that you're there. Uh, so she decides to give um, Shax a bonus because of how much was actually produced today. Uh, so you get another, you get a bonus one gold, five silver. I, I give half of it to Baby Luke because he was doing half the work. Uh. <laughs> uh, so, um, like, the the apprentice is confused, but she doesn't say anything because she assumes that, um, like, Shax knows what he's doing. 
Uh, so yes, yeah, so you're after some healing potions. We don't have a lot at the moment, unfortunately. And we're not after a lot anyway, so suits so us just fine. How many do you have? Uh, just a second. She uh, goes and picks out, uh, goes and pulls out a, um, a large wooden chest and she brings it up on the table and she turns it around and lifts, lifts it up. Uh, we have four left. Uh, let me just check with my accountant, Quirin, how much have we got to spend on our potions? I, I don't, I don't think we've come to an agreement, but I think one quarter of our gold to, uh, to potions is probably reasonable. So, 50 gold each or something, so that's yes. two potions. Right, let's see if I can get us a deal. So we're, we're just after two, we'd hate to have you out of stock with that large order coming in and all that, I mean... I know it must be uh, taxing on uh, the madam and yourself and uh, our dear friend Shax and baby. It's very taxing! Most mm -hmm. definitely. So we'd hate to buy you out of this busy, busy period. Um, so we're, we'd be happy to just take two, perhaps? Yes. She uh, nods. Okay, that would be a hundred gold. Surely you could cut us a deal for your colleague's companions? You know? Lovely dear Shoshana. I pull like a little angel pixie face at her and smile. Mm, <laughs> oh. persuasion check. Uh, Trying to get my wages cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mm. Roll. D20 plus. Let's say two. Ah, oh, that was close to beating it. Mm. And she looks down, she says, she looks over at the old woman. She produces them for slightly less, so I can take ten gold off each. She, like, whispers, she's, like, close to you. Um, so, be nine, it would be eighty gold. You've got a deal. I think I know where the gold. Okay. She, um, takes the gold. Is there anything else you want? She counts and puts it away. Nothing, just a small thank you for your services. And I'm going to palm her one gold. Uh, she smiles and nods. Pleasure doing business with you. You too. And I sort of give her the gold as I shake her hand. And I thank yeah, yeah, you yeah, very she, yeah. She's very discreet about accepting as well. <laughs> thank you, madam. What's this woman's name? You didn't, you didn't find out. What's the name of the shop? Uh... The Crone Home. That's right, yeah. Who is it for you? Thank you, Madam Crone. It was a pleasure doing business with you in your fine establishment. And she just like, she she doesn't even look up. She just like waves her hand at you. She's very busy mixing at the moment. And I'll head back to the end. So yes, we got two potions, and I cut us a deal. <laughs> Okay. It's most definitely a wisdom. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Baby's gonna be like a master of everything by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so... <laughs> are you guys gonna do anything in between? So you're, it's about... It's about... 2.45 now, so you guys, those of you who are not stuck in the alchemy shop, the other three of you, are you going to do anything? Or are you just going to meet up for dinner? Discuss what your plans are tomorrow? I'll probably just go home and continue some of that practicing I rolled for earlier. Okay. I'll, I'll do some research into the wyverns for today, but I will do the rest tomorrow. Okay. Um, can you, you're going to go to the library, so you have about two hours, roughly, to search. Um, so give me a, give me an investigation check at disadvantage since you have so little time, unless, um, Kobo goes with him. Kobo's AFK. Okay. Um, despite not having a lot of time, you do find a book on Wivens. It's it, a good role for disadvantage. Yeah. It describes, okay. it describes that they live in large nests, um, that they often will, um, fly for, uh, probably, uh, it's it's not it's not a hundred percent accurate, but it says around twenty miles is their flight range. Um, so 
basically wherever their nest is it's a 20 mile circle around there that's how big their territory is and how far they'll fly to get food um you also find information on um previous women encounters um one of the big things you note that if a women escapes from a group of people uh that women will never try to engage them again oh. so um the big thing big thing you take away is um wivens are intelligent and will try to flee if it looks like they're going to fail and they'll never engage that party again that um, hurt them Pussies of the dragon world. I mean, they're damn dragons. <clears throat> yeah. Right, it's good to know. I mean, we, we, we end up engaging, we need to make sure it's going fly away. Yes. God, I it's think it's, I think it's winning. While we're working, I want to say to Shex, do you think Shoshana's a necromancer? <laughs> I think it's very possible. Me too. <laughs> we're, we're witnesses. Oh, no. So one of the things I did was I went and prayed for her soul. Oh. <laughs> what if that makes her come back as a mitch? I, I have no idea, but it can't hurt. <laughs> oh, no. Who did you pray to, by the way? <laughs> no. Iris. Ah. Okay. Opens. Uh... Roll a history check if you want to. If you want to think you can okay. find out. I yeah, mean, I, you don't, can... I don't know. I'm not in within earshot, am I? No. No. I'm good at this. I'm not oh, good history, at this. Did I say history, religion, rather than history? Sorry. This is is uh, religion. Uh, it's fine, it's the same modifier. Unless you want me to roll again. Okay, if that's the case. Uh... Look, hang on, I'm proficient. Then roll again, because you get plus. <laughs> it is... Excellent. Really not that much better! <laughs> uh... Is... This Iris the god that you believe you follow? Yeah, yeah, mostly, pretty much. I'm, I'm not familiar with them. Uh, I'm sorry to say. I mean, so I'm what sure you, I've, I've heard what, the name, but uh, what you know of uh, her is that goddess of war. That's all you know. Oh, okay. So, like, totally makes sense that maybe we would uh, be into that. Yeah. That's. <laughs> She, she's a well-built woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just like Shax. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I like her so much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why don't we watch each other's backs, baby, just in case? I don't really want to become a zombie. We haven't, we haven't looked at this yet, have myself. we? Yeah, and I put my hand out. Hey, um, baby, can you hey, roll a religion check for me? At advantage, actually. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh. Okay, now that you're discussing this, you actually... It comes into the back of your mind now that you're talking about it. Um, you remember that uh, the goddess of war is often depicted as a tall, well-built woman with red hair and glowing red eyes. <laughs> like Sunni? No, like Burning Man. <laughs> Which is... Well... Not like Burning Man. Burning Man was a man. <laughs> Burning Woman. Maybe, maybe Shoshana just thought he was a man. Shoshana never said it was a man, just to be clear. No, Shoshana said warned of a, a, a fiery magic user. <laughs> for now, you're looking for a Burning Man. And yet, every source has said 
fiery witch. Yeah, so Shana's not looking for a match. She's looking for a <laughs> witch. <laughs> anyway. Baby is it? Baby's looking yeah. for a burning man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that description like pops up in your head and you're like, burning hair, shining red eyes, can't be, it's not a man. Okay. Um, so, unless there's anything else you guys want to do, it's the end of the day. You guys meet up back in the tavern. Dinner mm -hmm. time. I, I, I regale people with the information about the about the river that I found. Good to know. River? Yes, that is what we want to do at some Where time. is it? It's northwest of here in a city called, or near a place called Retrobomb Retrobomba. You went up there already? No, no, no. I just researched the library here. Oh. Think. Well, you said you found one. I found information about it. Oh. About them in general. I mean, they get their species. I don't know. You know like... I was about to say, did somebody have it as a pet? I mean, can babies. you have it as a pet? I didn't research maybe that, but... <laughs> maybe this one we can go get and take it as a pet instead of killing it. So, that's a possibility, it's maybe. That sounds it. really crazy. They seem to be pretty intelligent, though. I don't, I don't know how much they would accept being tamed when they're not actually, you know... When we go, anything. I'll find out. I'm good <laughs> at it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you can think about trying. I just want to mention also this is fifty gold, so yeah. Didn't, didn't Actively, if it's intelligent, it could be reasoned with to be an ally. Last time we tried, didn't it take like, uh, like proficiency plus like expertise plus like everything to get a, a good roll? <laughs> Pretty sure you've never got a good <laughs> animal <laughs> handling yeah. roll. I mean, this is basically a. Like, uh, Valk's, like, continuing, continuous, uh, like, goal in every I campaign. I can't to have wait to see this animal handling roll on this wyvern. <laughs> <laughs> it will go well. <laughs> baby Lou loses a hand. Because <laughs> Baby Lou is not finna. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Finna, have, finna have a lot of trouble, too. And Finna had good, good, good animal. Right, yeah. <laughs> Finn was proficient from the start. Yeah, he had, he had a huge, huge, huge modifier bonus, and it's still like, nope. Okay, so we know that Baby's looking to tame a Wyvern. Okay, it's good to know. Yeah. Shoshana, what are you doing for the evening? Uh, nothing. Just practicing and practicing and. Songwriting. Okay, give me three, give me three performance checks. See how you go. Oops. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Not bad at all. <laughs> wow, holy crap. Okay. Okay, so if you can take a long rest if you need one, um, you guys head out, for, uh, head in for the the night. Uh, next morning comes. It is now the eleventh, so it's the day before, day before the performance. Is there anything you guys want to do? So can you we get those beds? That's what I was thinking. We can fight the bears and perhaps, I mean, I don't know if there's anything else we can do to help your situation. If not, then, uh, yeah, I'll go back, I'll go back to researching the wyverns if uh, anything else happens. Okay. You can spend half a day tracking down some bears? Okay, well, maybe more than that, depending on uh, how well you roll. Can I get... Uh, we get lost in the woods and don't make it back in time. For this. <laughs> can I get whoever's leading the party to give me a survival check? I plus five. Okay. Yeah. You've got this. I'll help. I'm proficient. Okay. Cool. Okay. Survival check at advantage. Nice. 
Okay, I'm glad to ride on my horse, by the way. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, it takes you takes about an hour to get there um, from the last sighted, uh, last sighting. Um, you're looking around, you're able to find the tracks. Um, with a little bit of work, you're able to come across the area where you think they are. Um, what would you like to do? Take a track. Or do you guys want to encircle them or something to prevent them from leaving? I don't know. Like, see, we haven't seen them yet, though, have we? Mm-mm. I found tracks. Oh, yeah, okay. They, they, uh, I'm hunting by my hunting bear. Shh. Let's sneak around searching for them. Hey, you gonna sneak around? Please give me some stealth checks. Are we all stealthing? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you have disadvantage, um, Turbo. Oh. Oh. I rolled a 4 and a 19. Oh, Shaq's, I think Bruce is alive, okay. Okay, I'll roll for him. Stealth. Did my sister send you? Okay, Shaq rolled a 21. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Uh, so, two of you are not stealthy. Three of us. Three. <laughs> I, oh, me. yeah, baby I as well. Me. Holy seven. shit. Yeah. Okay, so how, how, how do you, how do you want to so search? Right. How's the, how's the... Okay, I guess it's, uh... Quirin. I'd be hanging back. Okay, you're hanging back. So Quirin's up the front because he's leading. I'd be rather... near him because I'd have my bow out trying to okay. hunt it. Uh, Shark's gonna be in the middle. Kobo, where you wanna be? You mean in front or behind Shark? Wait, are we in a carriage? No. No, we're hunting. Oh. Um, I'll be behind. Just behind Shark? Okay. okay. I'll hold my, hold my breath. I've got to be mauled by bears. And the bears get the drop on us. Okay. <laughs> so what, how are you guys going to go? Like... Okay. Uh, also, sorry, before I continue, um, what's the difference between sharp bow and her long bow in terms of like, what would I have changed? My it's bow? a D8 instead of a D6. And the range. Yeah. And the range yeah. is a lot longer. Okay, so I'll just change that, I guess, on the, on the item itself, instead of just uh, doing other stuff. I'm just looking out for the bears. What's your vision? Okay, baby, as you walk forward, you see a bear, and he sees you. I will shoot with my bow. Okay. You actually see two bears. Which bear would you like to shoot? There's that there's, one too. There's that one, and then there's that one. Uh, that one's kind of hard to see, so I'd go with that one first. Okay. That one's possibly a cub. <laughs> right. Oh no. Wow, nice. Okay. Ah, so you raise your arrow and you just... Minus 13. Swack, and we're in combat. Grab this. Okay. Uh, I don't know if... I don't know if Shax is here, so I'll add him. Is there a roll NPC button? I'm nice and fast today. <laughs> Everybody but Kobo is nice and fast. Holy shit. Because, like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, there's bears! Shoshana! <laughs> uh, what is the range on a cross light crossbow? 160, I want to say. 
Yeah, they're quite no, far. Eighty-three, eighty-three twenty. Hey, Is there a way I can uh, like basically duplicate the bow I have, or do uh, I just change the bow to longbow for now? No, you know what I'll do. I'll drag you in a long, uh, longbow, and you can just edit it from there. Yeah, that's all I did. I just changed the name and changed it to a D8 and made it strength instead of dex. There you go. I added I added a longbow for you, so. Yeah, so it's in range. It's in non disadvantage range now, yeah, is it? Oh, no, it's. And that's 85, so you're still disadvantage. What's the range on. Vicious Mockery 60. Oh, 60. What about Dissonant Whispers? That's six. All my spells are 60 feet, damn it! Yes, they are. You are, you are basically a mid range caster. Uh, looks like I'll just make a disadvantage crossbow attack then. Okay. Oh, what happened? Oh. Oh, yes. it, the the arrow flies up and lands like five feet short, and the bear just looks at you. Shax, are you here? No, Shax is not. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What is movement? Something ridiculous, isn't it? Should be 35 or 40 at level It's 3. 40. So you can move here, yeah, 10 more. He'll go to there and, like, hold his action. Next. Baby. Move there, and then I will take another shot. Okay. I probably should have just held my vicious mockery. Hey, 15 hits. Seven minus seven. Anything else? Mm. Guess I'll action search. Okay. And attack again. A fourteen hits. Nice. I mean, they're only bears. Why damage? He is looking very bloody. I'm done. Quirin! I have normal because I don't have. I'm pretty sure I want stealth given my low stealth. Yeah. No, you are not. So it's just an attack. So it hits, I assume. So. Yep. Damage. Okay. My... You kill the bear. Yeah. I'm right. So you've killed one of the bears. You know, there's at least one more. Alright, then I stealth. My... Uh, where are you going to stealth? Like, you're out in the open at the moment. Oh, yeah, you're right. I can't go. I, I use all my action to get close enough. Yeah. I, so, yeah. That's it. Never mind. Yeah. Oh. You can bonus extra dash. Oh. Right. I'll bonus extra dash. You're right. Okay. Getting action. You just can't bonus action hide then, though, but... Yeah. Still some... You can get still get somewhere stealthy. Or okay. Go to, go to where you're going. Okay. Close your it's kind of. Oh, battle walls. So as you as you run down there, all of a sudden. Oh no! <laughs> Another bear! Oh yeah! Oh fuck! They're everywhere. Um, you are attacked. Baby, tame the bear. <laughs> Back. Normal. I'm on my way. 
Ah, is it oh. a baby? It is a small... What is your AC? I don't think a 10 or 11 hit. No, I don't know what AC is, let me check. Uh, I'm sure it's more than that. It's a uh, 13. Okay, yeah, well, so he, he tries to bite down on your leg and you, like, pull away. And he slashes at you and uh, you're able to, like, dodge out of the way again. Yay. The dead bear. Okay, someone else's turn. This is going much better than last time I tried to attack a bear. Yeah. <laughs> you actually killed one this time. Yes. So this one charges, uh, and you see it coming. Oh, I should actually... Okay. This one will get advantage on this attack, because it's coming out of stealth. Oh god, they're all over it. Oh no. <laughs> Fucking drop bears, they're dropping out of the tree. Yeah, literally drop bears. Ninja drop bears. Uh, okay. I heard legends didn't think we were real. <laughs> Trust me, you- Oh, this one crit! Oh no. So he hits you twice, so you take uh, you take twenty damage all up. Nice, that one help. <laughs> <laughs> and then none of them are in range anymore. This one is going to charge to here. Oh boy, I got the army of bears. <laughs> It's going to get one attack off, which will be a charge. Shex get his attack on it. He does. Uh, 18 hits, baby. Yeah. Easily. Uh, you take 12 damage. Uh, and 11 just hits. Shex just hits. Uh, damage. Six damage. Okay. And then this guy will run over to here and doesn't make it any further because he was so far back. Kobo! Hi. So there are a pair of cubs currently mooring, mooring Quirin, and Baby just is like tanking a brown bear. Oh god. <clears throat> I might cast that on queer. Thank you. Okay. You get nine hit points back. Uh, should I have cast that? Even the word sucks, but I'm out of range. No, no, Void Radiance. Well, that's, that's a damage spell. Yeah, but it's, it's a cantrip, so you use it. You're he, about to die. He is out of range to use it. Yeah, Are you using normal rules, rules Chang, for Word of Radiance? It, it, the it's Chang's it's, medium rule, it's 10 feet now. It's 10 feet, not 5. But apart from that, it's, it's the same as... So it's slightly larger, but it's not large enough to hit all of them. I don't think he took Wait, any... Does it, does, does it still hit, like, an area? Like a it's square. around Kobo. Oh, so it's Kobo? it's ten feet it's ten feet around oh. Kobo. Oh okay, damn. So it, that's that's as far as it would reach. So it's useful. Look up. Yep. If oh wait, I still have an action. You still have your action. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Like you can kill. Oh. Oh. If he runs here, can he? What are we doing? He can't yeah, run he there. Movement. Okay, never mind. I don't have any damage. Can't can't trip. You need like sacred flame or toll the dead or something. One day. Normally, I just whack them. Well, whack em. next turn you the can whack them. You need to have up your sl at level five. Probably pick one of those damage ones up, so you've got a range toolkit that's not spells. Okay. Also, well, like you can you can you can use your action to dash, or you can hold your action if you want. One of the two. Did you already move? Um, when oh. someone gets in range, I'm gonna. Whack him with my mace. Okay. Yes, he used his 30 feet to run up. Okay. Shoshana, it is your turn. 
I can't believe you. You're completely unbearable at the brown bear. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, normal. Oh, well. I'll be a brown bear to death. Okay, well. He failed. Fuck off! A, a, a single tear comes from the brown bear's eyes. He doesn't understand you, but he can feel that he's being psychically mocked. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, no, that's it. Is Shaq's back? It sounds like it, so I'm going to make an attack. A 14 hits. Five damage. Uh, he only, okay, he gets bonus action, so he's going to bonus action. And he's going to critically strike with his bonus action. And roll hole. Three. That's not right. It'd be free because it would be. Oh, okay. I don't think I did that damage critical strike. That's why. So I add two to that. So minus ten. Okay. Uh, and then he's going to flurry of blows. I think he can heal one of them if he needs to. Would you rather him punch baby to heal him, or would you rather him do damage to, uh... Not true. To the brown bear? Probably just... Damage. Yeah, just fuck that brown bear up. It's got disadvantage on its next attack anyway. If it gets one. Uh, normal. So, his hand is going to glow, and he's going to, I believe, hand of... Spends another key point, so he's got one key point left. Gonna do wisdom modifier on top of it. Damage. Normal. He did not set this up right. God damn it. You think he's used hand of harm yet? Well he's used it now. Um and I'm gonna fix it. Plus that mod wisdom. Okay, so all of you guys see his hand, like, gl glow, and he just punches this thing. So, another three damage. So he's a necromancer. Yeah, it's Shax who's the necromancer. <laughs> That's the whole turn! <laughs> Baby, it's your turn. Big drop shatter on him! <laughs> uh, I want to move down here, okay. and then attack the brown bear. Uh, five, yeah, there eight, are people. 15, Why do you, you shatter these people? <laughs> all these bears. That's a really good point, actually. Um, I was maybe. wondering what you were doing when you were yeah, viciously mocking I really the bear. wanted to mock one Ooh. of them. Okay, the bear's dead. It's understandable. The leg, the leg's dead. <laughs> I just wanted to get my pun out. <laughs> <laughs> he, he went for the pun over the... Oh, wow. This baby's Max taking damage. And I should still be able to shatter them without hitting you and baby. If I get a turn. So, how would you like to do that, baby? Because you just massacred him. I guess I'll just, like, as I'm running around, I'll just, just kind of, like, jab it in the head. <laughs> and as you jab it in the head, it actually goes through one of the soft spots, and you hear a... And it just falls down dead. Sorry, I'm back now. Burn. I'm keep it right there. Okay. They're calling you a necromancer, by the way, now, Sharks. He's like hang low, clearly. It's, it's dark energy. Weird necrotic uh, energy. Got my health back. Wait, what happened? <laughs> you fingered the bear and they're calling you a necromancer. Oh yeah. no, hand of harm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's an evil, also evil energy, so negative energy, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm using my cunning action to take a. By the way, I, I, by, by the way I fixed hand of harm's damage modifier because it was wrong. Run, Kieran, run! <laughs> so you're you're taking the disengage action, I assume? Yes, disengaging my bonus okay. action to flee my life. Okay. 
25. <laughs> shoot the dairy. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm sure I said it's advantage, right? Because the... Because BB's next to it. You don't no, have advantage. No advantage. You get your sneak attack. Um, but you oh, missed. Okay. The arrow just, like, flies straight yeah, past it. Alright. That's okay. a good. Okay, seeing it's their prey escape, but they have more prey behind them. Uh, I'm pretty sure a 23 hits. Uh, no, Easily. I'm pretty sure a 7 misses. No. Barely. Yeah. Oh, 12. Okay. You take 5 slashing damage. Okay, this guy's turn. Attack. Attack. A 23 and a 12. 3. Oh no, the 12 does hit. Okay. So you take 16 damage. Oh, I should have cutting words one of those. And last 16? 16, yes. First attack. Cutting words, the first attack. Okay. Um, Do you want me to roll it? Yes. It's a D6, I believe. Yeah. Fuck off! <laughs> okay, that takes it down to a 21. Oh, there's no point doing it anyway. Oh well. That is six more damage. Okay. Last attack. A natural one! You can use your reaction to attack him if you wish. Hells yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can subtract the dice from the damage. You can. Ooh. Wow, baby crit again. My first 19 crit. Oh, you fucker almost next. It doesn't matter. You just like... <laughs> you turn around and lock the cub's head off. <laughs> As it goes to claw you, you dodge out of the way and your your glaive just comes across and its head just goes boom, boom, boom. Oh, did it try to run away? No, no, no. No. Um because he got a natural because he got a natural one, baby used his reaction to be able to um make an attack of opportunity. Oh, do you get one when they miss you can use your reaction to hit them? Yes. Critical As a critical miss. fail. Critical fail. Oh, is that a feat or a class thing? No, that is uh, that is in the basic rules. If you look at my rules, that is one of the rules. Oh, one of yours. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if it was a class thing or something. Nope. Anybody, if you're in melee, anybody who gets a critical miss is able to make a melee strike back. Ooh. It is Kobo's turn. I want to heal up. Uh -huh. Baby. Um. <laughs> Might want to consider healing, baby. Holy shit. More people for the shatter. <laughs> Drop this. Anyway. It's worth it more. Also, two enemies. Yeah, just for two of them. And you drop it right there. Whew. Oh yes, of course. That's the best. Is that overkill? No, <laughs> by no way. Not anymore. A level ago, maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have your bonus action left. Is there? I don't think you can do anything because you use no, a spell. Yeah. Use a spell. Even a level ago, I still wouldn't have filled up. Shoshana, it's your turn. Alrighty. Are you gonna make another bear pun? I'm wondering. No, fuck this. That was barely an attack. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try to finish him off. That was barely a hit. <laughs> You're that right. would have been your cutting Fortress words. Hannah, that would have been your cutting words. <laughs> that would have been. It's like you're barely even trying. Um, let's. 3d8, what do I want to do? 
I mean, on oh, 3d8, let's do that. Shatter the bears. I said, I'm surprised you didn't shatter them last round. So am I. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice job, bears. I'd like to... Can I... If, do you get your reaction back to the start of your turn? Mm, yeah. I'm gonna cutting words, that one. Cutting words? Oh, you can't do it for saving throws, fuck. No. Ability check. Yes, yeah, you can't yeah, do it sorry, for I saving throws. Yeah. Damn it! Um, the fucking bears. Uh, I'll let you in on the secret, even if you'd rolled max there. Ah, uh, you would have failed. It, you rolled a... It was a 14 save and he rolled a 21. Even if you'd rolled on the I other one. Only 14. Yeah. Low level, man. Low level. Yeah, no proficiency yet, eh? Why? Or charisma. Why? Half damage. Okay. Shax! I can't leave Baby Lou alone. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. By the way, you did get a crit last round for Shax as well. Oh, is that why you use Hand of Harm? Okay. When you've used all my crits for the night. Yes, yeah, I'm have. going to uh, go for the bear. Ah, uh, the one here. Okay. In front of Baby Lou. Oh, okay. Like, do a cross tag team. That's a hit. Your your uh, two hits are certainly almost better than mine. Your damage is certainly better than mine. <laughs> I rolled one damage on all of your attacks, except the crit. That's usually what I would do. Um, and I'm going to use a bonus action to just attack one more time. Okay. Ooh, Literally okay. one more time. Okay. Yes, the bear's going to attack you. So the bears, <laughs> the bears look at you and they both claw you. <laughs> Uh, what's your AC? Uh, 16. Okay, well, he misses. Oh, okay, so I didn't... I, was, I was still deduct it, because I called it. Yeah, okay. And he just hits. Oh, I missed the wrong <laughs> one. Sorry. <laughs> so you take 9 slashing damage. Ouch. Baby, it's your turn. feeling bad, I'm gonna reach down and try and give this one food to calm it down. Okay. Uh, you have your, you have your burn, uh, no, you don't, you don't have, because you attack, so. You have your last key point, you could, but nah. Okay, so you're gonna animal handling it, right? Okay. Yeah. And okay. I'm gonna, pre since I'm a bugbear, I'm gonna speak in bear to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Battle and animal handling checks just aren't. On the thing, right? <laughs> okay, it, gonna... It's gonna try and eat your treat and your hand at the same time. This fool wants to offer himself to me. Okay, it hit you. So you take an extra three damage as it bites down on your hand as it's eating, eating your ration. And I, then I take my other hand and I just scratch it behind the ear. Okay. Oh my god. Is there anything else you Morse want to action. do? Morse action no. scratch here. <laughs> like... Burn! <laughs> well, I see that baby is for some reason scratching the air of the bird we're trying to kill. So I attack the one that he's not scratching, I guess. Okay. Um, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> The arrow flies straight past them! Bush and, uh, hide. Okay, you can hide in the bush. You should have done that first. <laughs> Probably. He could have just taken aim! Oh, the steady aim thing is a bonus action, hey? Yes! It's a new cluster, it's a new optional rogue feat. You can use your bonus action to give yourself advantage on attack rolls. Okay. It does reduce your speed to zero. You can't move, but you get oh, advantage so, yeah. and you get, yeah. 
Which gives you sneak attack guaranteed. Alright, core to the next thing, teacher. Okay, 16 hits and. A 13 hits, both for baby. Okay, you take. 11 damage, baby. Oh, that's a nice move. I didn't know you had that. Yeah, I gotta use that more often. It's because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a scout. Okay, first attack on baby. is a miss. Because oh, you could have moved after the first one attacked you away from them, hey? Yep. Second one is a hit. It's like an honor lift to get to cutting words. Six more damage. Kobo! Slowly biting into baby's <laughs> HP. Oh, he's almost dead again. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. I mean, there are two bears <laughs> eating his hand. Literally yeah, like eating his hand. 12 AC. <laughs> I mean, that's, oh, that's like probably the, the biggest issue. <laughs> tank person has the lowest AC in the park. <laughs> The worst what? part of this is like, I'm from my armor, I'm literally only getting one AC. Oh my god. <laughs> you could literally be naked and be just as hard to hit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shoshana! Um. I mean, they're both still alive. Yeah, they really are, and Baby's in trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, the rolls are not much better. Okay, the first one failed. By damage. Oh, apply damage. Uh, I meant to apply half damage, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so you kill... Piece you of shit bears. Kill one. Shax! <sighs> I feel bad that uh, Baby Lou was trying to calm this one down, but uh, seeing that he's uh, injured my saliva supplier, <laughs> I'm going to give him a kick acro across the snout. Okay. <laughs> oh, you I hit. thought you got a 20 for a second. Wow. Good old Vaden's rolls. <laughs> Sorry, he, he, you kick it across the scout, and it, it, kick it in the snout, and it's snout just like goes partially into its head and it just falls down dead. It's under my breath, I mutter. Not for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Congratulations, you've killed the bears. How many bears we kill? You killed five. You killed two bears and three cubs. <coughs> Alright, so what was the actual uh collect their heads, Quirin? Okay, I'll go collect their heads, the harvest their heads from their horses to... We grab their belts as well, they might fetch a pretty penny or make a nice cloak off. They oh, might yeah. be a little bit cumbersome, Shoshana. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't enunciate that. Oh, it's fine. I think uh, we also take advantage and use their, their meat for uh, rations. Ah, uh, you can. Uh, so, you can get two bear pelts. Ah, uh, three young bear pelts. You don't need their heads, you can just take their ears. Um... <laughs> Love it, that's a currency. <laughs> I wonder if any of us, aside from Shoshana, could use their bones. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, I was kind of worried they were going to pop back up. <laughs> <laughs> you can get 12 days worth of rations. Would you like to take anything else from them? Tishana, would you like their bones? No, I don't collect bones. <laughs> is, is it 12 days of rations? 12 days of rations. All right. I'm not the one emanating this weird dark energy from my fists, after all. <clears throat> Indeed. This is concerning. Shax, do you have something you want to tell us? What was that, Shax? My memory's a little bit phasey, I think that... I was being controlled, perhaps by someone who was speaking. <laughs> controls <laughs> minds and, and necrotic energy. 
I never said it was necrotic energy. I said it. I said he's hand glowed. I didn't say it was necrotic energy. <laughs> Maiden, did you grab the loot? Yeah, I grabbed it. I'm putting it into right now. All right, yeah, I put it. At least I put it in my. Yeah. So three, uh, two young, two bear pelts, three young bear pelts, and then twelve rations. And and, and well, five pairs of ears. I really do. Yeah. Doing that. So that takes you a few hours to do. Um, so it's about midday, one o'clock now. Uh, is there anything uh, you guys like? I guess you guys are gonna try and head home now. I yeah. might actually uh, collect some of the smaller bones to um, mix in with my dreadlocks. Okay. Just, just for a. Uh... You roll me for a med- necromancer look. <laughs> oh my god. Roll a what? Sorry, Jay. Medicine check. Wear a bear head as a as a hoodie. Okay, yeah, you can Ooh. you can f- easily find some of the uh, smaller bones. Um, I'll try and take some of the f- uh, the fangs from the big ones. Okay, give me a medicine check. Yes. Um, you break three of them off, uh, but the fourth one, as you're trying to break it off, like just like snaps in half, and this is not usable. So you have three bear things. Okay. Anything else before we head back? Can I get a survival check from the party who's guiding the party? I will do it. Survival. Let's you got see. this, Clary. Yes, all my amazing roles say I've got this. Go, let's go. I will assist you. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, assist, yeah. Thank God. And I might inspire you at the same time. <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> okay, you roll a, was it, a d6? D6. Yeah. Okay, that brings us up to a 19, okay. And you're able to get, you're able to make your way outside of the woods and back to the city. Yay. Close, lucky I was there to... <laughs> Yes. I don't know what it is. I mean, I spent all my time now searching places and marking locations, yet I keep getting lost. And I don't know. I figure I have some other issue. Why does every time I load a map, you guys end up in the corner? Um, we all just got grouped up under me for some reason on one cell. I don't know what happened. Everyone but Shax. Yeah. Just a waste of duck one. Thunder Cobra, no, yeah. yeah. I just don't understand why you all get grouped up under one. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so is there anything so you want to do in the afternoon? I'll. Oh, we don't need to read. We did all the research on weapons, didn't we? I mean, no, you could I'm research some more, but it's up to you. Yes. Yeah, I'll oh, I spend my time researching more. Okay. I want to go oh, to yes. the blacksmith and uh, re attempt my things I tried making. Okay, well, first of all, give me the uh, strength chat. We'll do that first. Yeah. Okay, these are probably cool. these are probably the most beautiful things you of these that you've ever seen, um, apart from the one in the main the the one you've seen it like with Kobo. Right. But it's um, a crucifix. So yeah, these are these are amazing. Uh, so you can do what you will with them. <clears throat> um, so okay, so who's going researching? Um, I will. That's Shoshan. Okay. Quirin as well, I assume. Yep. Tracks Kobo. What are you guys doing? Um, I'm not researching. We'll have half a day to spend at uh, the Herbalist. Uh, I need money, so yeah. Okay, roll me a Herbalist check. Thank you, Sorry. Career. For a second, I thought you said, uh, uh <laughs> roll a Herbalist check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you make two gold from that by spending half a day there. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, do you add the two health potions, Maiden? 
Uh, oh, I, I, I know, no, but I, uh, before I got off, but I didn't know if we were going to get to these three keyboards putting in, in the hold, 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 holding them. Should I hold them or do we want to give it to certain people? Because I have three lesser healing potions right now for myself. I should probably. I have two, actually, 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 I have two now because I gave one to, um, to yeah. Shots. Oh, so, and then did you add the new ones that we got? No, I didn't add it to myself, so I, I don't know if I should, oh. like, yeah, should I just hold on to it, I guess, for now? So you bought two that. regular potions of healing, so I can yeah. show you guys these now, because you bought some uh, permissions. Does anyone not have any potions of healing? Or potions to draw? I don't know I have it. I know... Chuck I have a lesser healing. You have it too? Okay, so does, uh, does Baby or uh, a couple have healing potions? I'm fine. Yeah, we have two. So that's a few. I mean, in case you run out of spell slots, you can still help heal. Okay, you guys under potion should be able to see potion of lesser healing and potion of healing now. You can drag them in. I'll I assume. grab one because I'm probably after the monk the next quickest to move around the battlefield if we need to. Okay, so I guess you hold on to one and I hold on to one. Okay. Yeah, you and me are probably the two best. So fast. And won't be in the front lines to get killed by everything. Okay. Um, Kobo, what are you doing? Or are you just going to uh, visit your temple and help out? Yeah. Okay, can I get investigation checks from Quirin and Shoshana? Sure thing. <laughs> Um, okay, so you don't learn too much else. You learn that they're meat eaters. Uh, you learn that there are different types of women. Um, there's the standard women, and then depending on where you live, um, there are elemental women's as well. So there are ones that are more heavily favored of fire. There's some ice ones. Um, here, down here in the Roadmere Union, um, the only women you'll ever come across is, um, unless you're down super far south, the only women you'll come across is your standard, um, women. So, uh, you do know, looking at, um, previous encounters, that for a group of, for a group of your strength, it might be a little tough for you guys at the moment, but it might work. Okay, yeah, I mean, the, the, the bears should do a lot of damage to us here, so just bears and women. So for us, we need some more experience, but uh, it's up to you guys. We can maybe we attack us in time or something, or if we coordinate this better strategy, good strategy, perhaps it won't be that bad. It's just one creature, but it might well, be too we... much for us to handle. Well, that, well that's the quest, is to kill one. We don't know if it has, you know... Oh, don't say that. <laughs> allies or something or if it's smart it has uh, traps who knows but if we're smarter we have more traps possibly it seems a bit risky you don't have to go yeah. for it straight away i mean yeah. we have other things to do we have we want to go to gondolas we want to go to uh the two the ruins of Rombina, because those rocks at you. What about the Maybe Goblin it's... City? The yes, Goblin Goblins City one? Too, yeah. Goblin Caravan, yes, take it up to the there. Um, at least check if they have belts. I'm not feeling super good. I'm going to go to bed. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Well, good night. Have good night. We'll meet you back at the Tavern Kerbo. Oh, wait, was that Joey? Yes. Yeah, that's Joey. By the way, so I good. assume you guys have turned in your quest, so you each get one gold, yeah. please. Yeah, yeah. Woohoo, almost doubled my money. <laughs> One day I'm going to be able to buy my own um, Alchemist kit. One day. <laughs> is that that it for the... Is that it for today? Because uh, apart from... Like, that's all you've learned. Like, you've learned... There are different types of... Um, 
Wyvern, but you're m most likely to run into a standard one, and it's probably tough for you guys at the moment. Right. So we, we didn't know anything about their physiology, such as, like... I mean, you know the... Weapons that might be effective against them, or less effective? You catch my group. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, like... I mean, they're dragons, so... Monsters. Uh, as far as you're aware, there's nothing special about them. Okay. Fuck them up with magic, man. And regular weapons. Yeah, man, yeah, do you have magic missile? He wishes uh, he had magic all, missile. A lot of my magic is charmed effects, that's why I kind of need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. I think I don't think Dissonant Whispers works if you're immune to being charmed, does it? Uh, I do not believe it does. Oh no, deafened, deafened. Okay. So that's an audio kit. I've got a couple of those ones though where it's like, oh, if they have this, they're automatically immune to it. Later on spells anyway. Yeah, I mean... Most of them, as far as you can tell, like... You know that there are tamed wyverns, um, but like there there are accounts of like wyvern tamings in some of the books you've um, come across. Um, but taming a wild, it does say that taming a wild wyvern is very dangerous. Um, generally speaking, they recommend hatchlings. Oh, maybe it has hatchlings in its nest. We can tame. There'll be five of them. We can be the wyvern riders. <laughs> yes. I tell them they will. <laughs> I ain't no coward, I want an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling baby's gonna end up dead one of these days. Okay, so if that's it, that's it for, so we're gonna have our long rest for tonight and tomorrow we'll, and then it's gonna be morning of the competition and that's where we're gonna end it off. Okay, that's it for tonight. See you next time, folks. <laughs>